hey everyone it's uh, another beautiful day out in the desert and uh, today's project is uh, my old truck it's uh, a GMC 3500 and it's got the Chevy big block 454 in it and uh, I was gonna replace the uh, steering uh, box today since it's been long overdue and I came down here and uh, unfortunately it looks like my oil cooler is uh, in not too good a shape. It's uh, It's got oil everywhere. I thought for the longest time now I thought most of this oil was coming from the steering box. So uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to I'm gonna take care of that first since engine oil is a little more important than uh, power steering fluid. And uh, yeah, it's pretty well drained, but uh, I'll get that other hose off. These hoses are really welded on there. They've been on there for a long time. Alrighty, I got the old cooler out, and uh, yeah, it is pretty well hammered. But uh, I'm sure it still displaces heat. And uh, I'm just gonna cut these at the rest of these these. Uh, I'm just gonna cut the rest of these ends off and then uh, pressure test it and we'll see if it's good or not. If not, I'll probably be ordering a, a new one. Alrighty, I got the, uh, the, the end of the hoses off and uh, I'm going to try and pressure test this. See if it's uh, leaking or not. This isn't exactly the best way to do this, but it will work. So I'm just going to clog one end with my thumb and pressurize it with the air hose. Oh, yeah, there's a problem. It's going to squirt oil everywhere. Alrighty, so uh, to get this off, I've been looking at it for a little bit now. Look, there's probably no way you're going to get in here and get these off. I'm sure if you were really determined you could. So uh, what has to happen is uh, this oil filter needs to come off and then there should be two bolts in here and we can pull this like oil filter adapter out of here and then we'll have access to it and we'll pull the lines out with it. So uh, that's what I'm going to do next. Yeah, it looks like this is quarter inch. I got really lucky. It's the first one I grabbed. So I believe it's that one, and uh, I can't even see, but there's another one in there. So uh, I'm going to try and take them off, and uh, we'll see what happens, see if this comes out for me. Oh, wow. Wow. Is that a 
of course they crack loose. I'm sure they've never come been out before. I don't take the, uh, the the whole bracket off rather than loosening the clamp. And uh, I'm just gonna take that one bolt out. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so. go. It's mine. All mine. 